Programming the volume is very simple. Select the beverage of your choice. In this case, I'm doing an espresso. I'm gonna hold that button down until the memo note comes up on the interface. And there it appears. Once you have the desired volume in your cup, you're simply gonna to go to the aroma strength button and hit the check mark and that will stop it. Now this amount will be produced every time until you go ahead and reprogram it. Now I'm happy with this amount of espresso in my cup. Here we go, and then check mark appears, so that means it's programmed. Here we go, a demonstration making a cappuccino. We're gonna hold down the cappuccino button until the memo note appears on the digital screen. That signals that the machine's now in programming mode. Once that appears, you can let go of the button. Once you're satisfied with the milk volume, you'll go ahead and hit the check mark button, which is the aroma strength button. Next, the machine's going to pull a shot of espresso. And once you're satisfied with the length of espresso produced, again, you're gonna go ahead and hit the OK check mark button. I just love when the layering starts to appear. Delicious. There we are. Check mark has appeared on the interface. This means the Gaja Anima Prestige has programmed this specific volume for the cappuccino. So every time you go ahead and hit the cappuccino button, this is the volume that the machine will produce. Of course, you can always go back and reprogram it. Once the milk-based beverage is produced, the craft finishes producing the milk. On the screen, it will give you 10 seconds to select the cleaning option, which you'll do by selecting the check mark. Then you'll see the interface signaling if you want to confirm cleaning the milk carafe. And you'll hit the check mark button. And this pulls hot water through the carafe, ensuring the internal circuit is sterilized and clean.